It, it actually gets way crazier when you think about the, our, the Optimus robot, which is really a humanoid robot that is intended to you know, be able to do anything you want it to do, to be you know, your companion. It can be at your house. It can sort of babysit your kids. It could teach them, uh, be a teacher. It can do factory stuff. I, I think that the ultimate ratio of, say, how many super useful humanoid helper droids do you want? Like, who doesn't want a C-3PO? Yeah. But a C-3PO plus R2-D2 plus, you know, plus plus. It would be pretty awesome. I think everyone in the world is going to want one. Like, literally everyone. And, and then there will be, obviously, robots in industry making stuff. And I think the ratio of humanoid robots to humans will, will probably be at least two to one, something like that. One to one for sure, so, which, which means, like, somewhere on the order of 10 billion uh, humanoid robots, maybe 20 or 30. So then it's like, okay, well, let's say build rate is, I, I think the build rate will be probably something ultimately like a billion a year, humanoid robots, like actually. And if Tesla just has a 10% share of that, and it might be a lot more than 10%, and there's, you know, who make like 100 million Optimus units a year. I just, I mean, for reference, the auto industry is roughly 100 million vehicles per year, sort of similar ballpark, at least within an order of magnitude. And I think we could make one for, a cost of maybe at really high scale of about $10,000. It's smaller, it'd be less expensive than a car. If you sold for, sell for $20,000 or something, this is at large scale volume, Tesla would basically make about a trillion dollars of profit a year from that. If the price earnings multiple is say, I don't know, 20 or 25, something like that, that would mean a $20 trillion market cap from Optimus alone. And, and probably five to 10 from autonomous vehicles. Like I think it's actually conceivable it's within the realm of possibility uh, for Tesla to achieve a valuation 10 times that of the most valuable company today. So it's, it's pretty wild to just you know, be in Palo Alto with a bunch of cubes and then a humanoid robot just walk, walks past. Um, we've made a, a massive amount of progress with Optimus in a short period of time, from someone pretending to be a robot dancing in a suit uh, to a pretty hodgepodge robot to a robot that is actually doing useful tasks in the factory today. Um, so we have two Optimus robots in our Fremont factory that are doing basically this task, which is t taking cells uh, off the end of the line and placing them in a shipping container. And um, we actually have quite a few of these cruising around our offices in, in Palo Alto. So there's, and, and I think we've got kind of like one major hardware revision, which should be done by end of this year or early next. And, and then we'll move into a limited production next year of Optimus. L limited production for use in our factories where we'll test out the product, kind of eat our own dog food or whatever the electronic equivalent of that is. But I, I think like next year, and my prediction is next year we'll have over a, over a thousand, maybe a few thousand Optimus robots working at Tesla. Um, and things are gonna scale up very rapidly uh, from there. We'll iron out the bugs, it'll, like the degree of autonomy will be radically better. You'll just literally be able to talk to it and say, please do this task, or I'm gonna show you something, now do that the thing that I'm showing you and uh, you know, get to the point where it can watch a video of something like a person and then learn just by looking at that video and, and do that task. So really it's gonna be quite something. And, and I'm confident of the pr prediction that there will be more, like the ratio of humanoid robots to humans will be greater than one to one. So that there'll be you know, more than 10 billion humanoid robots in the world, probably 20 or more and Tesla is going to be by far the leader in that. You're seeing a lot of robot startups, but I think it's actually very challenging to, to do Optimus as a robot startup because what we found to make Optimus work, we've had to design from first principles, from scratch, every part of the robot. So the motor, the gearbox, the sensors, power electronics, the communication system, everything had to be done from scratch. We, we found that there's basically nothing, there's no supply chain. Even though there are many electric motors made in the world, there's no supply chain for the types of motors and sensors and gearboxes that are needed for a humanoid robot. And you, I mean, what you're seeing here is our current generation uh, hand and arm, but our next gen, which has 11 degrees of freedom, our next generation has 22 degrees of freedom. It will be able to play the piano. So it's, it's really like, wow. Now, of course, like I said, we need to make sure we don't have the Terminator scenario. That's very important. You know, sa safety of the humanoid robot will be very important. But because it requires so much ground-up design, designing every motor, gearbox, sensor, power electronics from scratch, it's, it's very hard for a startup to, if not impossible, for a startup to replicate that. But at Tesla, we have the world's best electrical engineering. I think we've got the world's best mechanical engineering for, for gearboxes and, and for uh, you know, electric motors, power electronics. You know, we have the resources to do that. It, it, it applies quite well. Uh, and then you also have to have the, the brain. You need the, the, you need the, 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 you need a power efficient inference computer, 
which we've got for the car, and we'll be using an Optimus. You need to be the best in real-world AI, and Tesla's the best in real-world AI. You need a very strong hand of cards in order to make a compelling uh, robot, and then you also need to be very good at scale manufacturing. So in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost like ten or twenty thousand dollars, you actually need to design for manufacturing and be very good at manufacturing. What, in my experience, prototypes are, are easy compared to volume manufacturing. Prototypes are easy, production is hard, um, relatively speaking. So Tesla has the production capability, it has the engineering capability, and it has the AI hardware and software capability. Even the most optimistic estimates that I've seen for, for Optimus, <laughs> the Optimus optimist, I think undercount the magnitude of, of what this robot will be able to do. You know, as I said at the beginning of the, of the presentation, I, you know, I agree with the ARK Invest analysis that autonomous transport is call it sort of a five to seven trillion dollar market cap situation. Optimus, I think, is, is a, a 25, a, literally 25 trillion dollar market cap situation. So. I don't want to trivialize what's necessary to get there. I mean, it's an immense amount of work that is required to get there, like super difficult. But uh, we are moving very fast down that road, and we're going to make it happen. Thank you.